Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the hate Sam and Colby are currently receiving regarding their hell week this year and the hate is kind of outrageous in my opinion so we're going to go over it. I'm currently on the r slash Sam and Colby subreddit and this was posted two days ago and it's Ferrara Elementary Ghosts. Now the whole sort of spiel for this is, you know, this person is frustrated about the fact that Sam and Colby seem to be intruding the school and trying to make the ghosts communicate with them but apparently the ghosts don't want to. So this is what they've said. Hello, I may have an idea of why the ghosts at Farrar want nothing to do with Sam and Colby and why they are being secretive. I suppose not to shade on any evidence or anything, just going for the first two videos posted. This is why I feel the ghosts don't like y'all. The first thing that annoys me is when people talk on behalf of something or someone uh, like they understand and have the same thought processes as them. Like how do you know how the ghosts feel? Bro, tell me right now, have you talked to the ghost yourself? First red flag. Sorry, I also am sick. So, sorry for my uh, voice. One, why have they put one and there's no other f***ing paragraphs? That's dumb. One, you bought their place despite the promos of repairs and giving back to the community. The ghosts don't see it. What do you mean, bro? How do you know the ghosts don't see it? Okay, they see you guys coming in, filming, inviting people, taking up their space and not leaving. I would like to imagine if someone came into my place claiming it was now belonged to them, I would be quite offended. Well, that's the thing they are covering in Hell Week is they're trying to like mend both sides together and they're asking for permission to sort of connect really like they're trying to contact the principal and they're like yo can you help us out trying to figure out what the hell's in the boiler room and such and protect them and the principal accepted that they were there and i forgot what particularly they said in the second episode but i think the principal was upset originally when they came in and first like bought the property but it wasn't for any bad reason. I don't know, let me know in the comments what it was, exactly was. I've forgotten. In the two-ish months since you bought it, you guys have been setting up your investigations and cleaning up the place. Even though other people have come through, has mostly been undisturbed. Uh, from the responses you guys have been getting, it shows the unrest in the school. The spirits are tired of the constant talking. Where has that been said? in hell week i remember they were sitting down with that guy in the second episode i think or the first one that guy who had the new like communication method and he had the laptops out and like the ghosts were like yo we don't want to talk to you we have each other so i mean fair like they were tired of talking in that segment but they stopped talking to them after you know they made that clear with each other i feel even with the way everyone left you guys in the boiler room is because they actually feel that this confrontation of the man there is unnecessary and will only cause more of a power unbalance there anyways the point i'm getting at here is that personal space has been invaded personal opinion not to discredit any personal experiences i'm just a viewer personal space has been invaded i mean bro it's like how They've just bought a building and they're like ghost hunting. So we're going to look at the comments here and some of these comments are outrageous and I've got like, you know, evidence against people throwing more shit at Sam and Colby. So let's get into that. Um, I've mentioned this in another post, but I agree. I feel like them coming in and constantly being like, we're only here for a week, so talk to us probably makes most parents here want to not interact because they may feel used. Added to the fact that they just seem to want to exist in this space and talk to people but Sam and Colby trying to find something nefarious, I don't know what that word is, uh, is probably turning them off from wanting to interact. I mean, this place has been investigated for years and years, you know, like it was abandoned, but people were still going in there. Like there's countless videos on YouTube. Also, we're only here for a week, so talk to us and the ghosts feeling used. I mean, they were there two months ago investigating they, to make sure the property was haunted. They're not just there for a week and that's it. Like this is now a business property for them. Obviously people are going to continue to come in in the future and, and investigate. Like they're not using the ghosts. They're trying to get to the bottom of why this place is haunted because it's been a mystery forever. No one's died there except that chick outside the front who got in a car accident. And I'm going to read this final comment here and uh you know, there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm going to provide evidence against. They said not a lot of work has been done either and I love you guys. I hate people that like just throw hate and then end it with like, oh, but it's okay, like I, I appreciate you. Why do people do that? If you're going to be mean, be mean. Don't like be both. Uh, you were shocked by a toilet with Josh, but you've been working on the school for two months. I think you need better employees if that is what's happening there while you're gone because it sounds like you've actually only been there like twice since you bought it and first thing you did was investigate in the basement 
they would have investigated the entire building. Okay, I don't know where they got that from. I'm confused by all of it, really. Looking for demonic or negative things will bring angry spirits about because they will be upset someone keeps telling them that they are pissed off people or things. Well, the only bad entity they're trying to look for is the one in the boiler room and that's been like confirmed by countless years of people investigating that something bad is in there. And then, you know, the first thing they said here, not a lot of work has been done in the restorations. Um, obviously, they're not going to really fix a toilet if they're not going to use it. Like, why do they need to repair the bathroom? as one of the main things so far from owning the property when it's not like one of the main focuses to fix up like you'd be fixing up staircases walls and stuff a toilet who cares bro you're not going to use it maybe there's some toilets in the school that they do operate which i'm sure because they stayed there for a week but two months of like repairs you can only do so much in two months and it's in iowa and the population of that town is zilch really so they probably just don't have a lot of people to be able to come in and fix it. There might be like a couple of people fixing it, but they can't work on it all the time, right? I don't know, I think that's, as a fan of Sam and Colby saying shit like this is fucking outrageous. And I'm here to prove this person wrong, okay? So we're going to watch Sam and Colby explaining about them buying the property and what they sort of went through in the process just to, you know, refresh what this person said and prove them wrong, I guess. But let's get down to it. Why did we buy this place? For years, we have dreamed about buying a haunted location of our own, and we heard this spot was in disrepair and would probably be- Yeah, like, look. Like, look at the state of, like, the side of the building and- God, what is that? Probably be- It's just crumbling away. Demolished soon. So I yeah, so it was gonna be demolished. Like, do you want the building to be saved or not? That one person who said the ghost wanted demolished, like what? After doing a lot of research and even coming to this place ourselves to do our own investigation, we realized how special this place is. In order to preserve history and keep this place open for future investigators, we looked into buying this property. We See, the reason they bought it is to like preserve the history of this place, you know, and allow it to still be there. If they didn't buy it, it probably would be gone. I don't know what you'll be yapping about. We thought that buying an old school would be an easy task at first, but realized it was going to take a lot of time and effort to make sure we did this. Like, look, look at the state of it. They fully ripped the flooring in the safe room, it looks like. And they redid, like, the tiling here. Oh my god, wait, they got rid of these windows here. I'm confused about... Because that radiator is in the corner and it seems they've just like got rid of the windows. I'm confused. But already there alone you can see how much they've done. And this doesn't like take a day to do. This takes, well if they knocked out the fucking windows and put bricks back up. That'd take like weeks. Maybe even close to a month. I don't know man. I don't like fix buildings and stuff. But it's not gonna like happen like that. That's right. Many repairs were needed. I mean this looks like the roof here. And it just looks like it's warping you've got like the tiling on the floor all broken which i'm sure they would have repaired yeah all the brickwork is fucked up yeah, in order to make this a safe thing for so we've got replacement of 20 to 30 damaged bricks okay for everyone and obviously we need to double check that the haunted claims about the building were correct so multiple times we had teams of people including us come out to verify the hauntings yeah so they had multiple people go out there as well as them to make sure this place was haunted they didn't just go straight to the basement i don't know where that person got that from Oh my. Oh wait, it still has everything in it. Guys, this has been being investigated for 15 years. What are you so afraid of? I guess we will find out. Bro, I feel like we're gonna fall through any minute. Me too, this is not safe. Oh, here we go. This is the map of the spot. So gym, boy, oh, dude, the boiler room right next to this gym. They say the boiler room is like where everything is starting to get super negative. Well, that's where the portal's supposed to be, right? We've been looking to buy a haunted place as we started a haunted investigations, ghost hunting. This one came on the market and seems like it has the most history of paranormal happenings for literally over a decade. This place really needs repair, especially the roof. So we were thinking about buying it, repairing it, and then seeing what's really haunting here. So like they bought it and they've restored it, which they don't show all the restorations. I mean, there's no point in doing so like they don't have to prove that they've been restoring it like i'm going to show photos of it in the previous years and you can kind of if you've watched the first two episodes you can see the difference in the state of it they bought this property for a good reason like it was probably going to get demolished it was in a bad state like it could have been in a worse state like it looks pretty good for what it is and as they've said like people have been investigating for over a decade and you know there's something bad in the boiler room and they just want to find out what the fuck's going on because no one's figured it out so if you guys know amy's crypt she actually investigated there and i took a screenshot 
from her YouTube video and you can see on the wall here like the paints peeling off all like the chalkboard here has been ripped off by the looks of it like when they went into the classrooms none of the classrooms look like this so i'm assuming they restored you know maybe the chalkboard and definitely the walls another one here like look at the state of the walls i'm sure they've like redone the flooring as well just to make sure it's safe because they did say it felt like they were gonna fall through which is scary i don't know why people are getting so upset like oh you barely restored it like bro i'm hitting you with all the evidence i also found like this entire flicker album thing and someone took so many photos of this place in 2012. So this is what it looked like 12 years ago. Like if we click on this one, I think this was the photo I just showed before maybe. But yeah, all the walls are peeling off. There's a lot of shit on the floor, especially here as well. Like it's just like a little bit trashed that's been ripped off like the gym still looks the same which is good but yeah i think maybe their biggest focus was fixing the roof as well as like the flooring you know to make it safe for people to roam around but also there's a lot of rooms they haven't shown like just scrolling through here like i swear we haven't seen half of these rooms in their videos even like the blinds and stuff here are coming off i think it may have just been more focused on structural uh, renovations to make it like safe for people to come and go rather than like making it look nice because you still want that vibe of it like being sort of abandoned but it has that old trashed feel which makes it spookier even looking here like bro there's just shit everywhere and it's just trash like people have just shoved things in one room which they would have cleared out i know this was like 12 years ago but still but again like we don't have that much information on what exactly the restorations were except like the bricks the roof the flooring and then you know from what we're seeing here the difference in it from 12 years ago to now so some people just want to complain about things and it's so dumb but i found this article which was posted or was updated this year so this place became a popular spot for urbex in iowa and haunting at ferrara a paranormal exploration company purchased the old building and partially restored it for the safety while leaving the abandoned building almost exactly as it is so i feel like they're like keeping that sort of vibe to it which i like because you don't want to fully restore a previously abandoned building because then it just doesn't have that feel to it i don't know and i feel like the energy would change in them but it has been partially restored since it was like bought again which i don't know when that was um and then obviously sim and colby have done more to it i was purchased in 2006 but like i don't understand all this hate like sam and colby are doing this week or owning the school i should say for very valid reasons they're saving the building for one they're fixing it which i've just shown you the repairs and we've gone through what possibly was the main focus of repairs they're trying to get to the bottom of the mystery of the hauntings because it has no reason to be haunted right they're going to find out more about the afterlife which is the whole purpose of their youtube channel now they want to figure out how the paranormal works from last year's hell week when they went to the conjuring house we had cody and satori and they were telling us about the afterlife and what's the meaning of life and stuff but obviously i debunked them and it was all fake if you believe it was real that's okay but now that they have their own place where they can experiment they can figure out so much i don't think they're intruding the ghosts like that's a pretty silly statement like if you go ghost hunting anywhere i'm pretty sure the ghosts don't have to talk to you as i said in that one episode where they're sitting with the guy with the laptops out and he was using that like voice recorder thing and you could hear the spirits talk to them the children's spirits and they're like oh we don't want to talk to you anymore we have each other like they can separate themselves from communicating with us like a lot of the times when people go ghost hunting they don't get a lot of evidence because i'm assuming the ghosts just shut them out they're like okay don't want to talk to you but from the communication they've done so far especially with the principal they have accepted to working with each other and they went to that tree and gave a peace offering they're showing so much respect to the spirits like they're not just intruding and always every time they investigate they're like if you want us to leave and stop talking let us know and then they leave like they have that respect there i don't know why these fans are hating it's just dumb like you try and do youtube like it's not easy like i don't know why people are nitpicking them like sam and colby have put so much effort into releasing this and like i, I guess doing this for the fans because now they can produce videos and show us and experiment like how the afterlife works and they can probably figure out a lot which is exciting so if you're gonna hate on sam and colby just stop watching them what's the point like if something bothers you that much just don't interact with it
it. It does nothing. Like Sam and Colby aren't gonna see this and read this and be like, oh yeah, you're so right. My bad. Let me just like stop making YouTube videos and like sell the school. What it, what is this gonna do? Like I know everyone can voice their opinions, but this is just stupid in my opinion. Okay. If you don't agree with me, I don't know why you're still watching. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will agree. Like sometimes Sam and Colby maybe step over the line but i don't know sort of when that would be like they really push to get evidence they do it in a respectful way anyway so i feel like they push themselves over the line more rather than trying to get the ghosts to come out and communicate with them this is all very silly to me but i thought i'd cover it because sam and colby have worked hard for this hell week to be what it is and they're doing something amazing and people just want to go nah you're being rude to the ghosts Fuck you. Like, it's just dumb. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm so sick. I've coughed so many times this video that I've just cut it out. One like, one prayer for me to get better, please. Uh, check out my social media down below. And uh, turn on post notifications because any new Sam and Colby stuff that comes out, I'm going to be covering it. Anyways, hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And um, hopefully you guys aren't sick. And if you are, hope you get well soon. Bye.